on that particular Hello my dear students, very good afternoon. We shall discuss the Hindu newspaper of February 12th today. Let me take it for granted that you all have read the newspapers and have come prepared. I need not emphasize the importance of reading the newspapers for all these examination. There is a general awareness paper for which most of the questions would be on contemporaneous topics. So, reading the Hindu is essential for success in any of these exams. So, we shall straight away begin the program. The Hindu dated February 12, 2021. Rescue efforts resume in Tapovan tunnel. We know the tragedy in Uttarkhand where in cloud burst many people lost their lives NTPC's uh, Tapavan Hydral project is almost washed away. So, the rescue operations continue to help possible lives. Coordinated disengagement at Pangong, so Rajnath Singh tells Rajya Sabha, the efforts to bring back peace between India and China on their border are finding success. It was on Pangong, so that on either side of Pangong, so that the armies of India and Pakistan are standing face to face. So, they have decided to move away. Coordinated disengagement at Pangong So, Rajna tells Rajya Sabha, India and China have reached an agreement on disengagement in the Pangong Lake area to cease their forward deployments in a phased coordinated and verified manner and it would substantially restore the situation to that existing prior to the commencement of the standoff last year, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said. So, Indian Army and uh, Chinese Army have made discussions at the commander's level. It was the ninth time rounds of discussion in which finally it was decided that both army would withdraw to the position before 2020 April and they would withdraw their armies from the front line positions on either side of the uh, Pangong So Lake. So, read it is a very uh, important significant event. What we require is peace in Asia, peace between India and China are essential to peace for the whole world. 17 major OTT players adopts self-regulatory toolkit OTT over the top. We have we have discussed this matter a few days ago. Uh, we discussed it. We discussed that uh, the government plan to um, put OTT under a regulatory framework as a beginning. All TTs were put under the information and broadcasting ministry. This was the first step towards uh, making a kind of a regulation on OTT. Examples of OTTs are Netflix, Amazon Prime, etcetera. Presently, they are not regulated by any authorities or the government. Soon, there will be regulation on the contents beamed by OTTs. 17 major OTT players adopts adopt self self regulatory toolkit. So, keeping in mind the fact that the government was bringing in going to bring in uh, uh, regulation 17 major OTT players adopt 
self regulatory toolkit. Um, so, please read order at the border, the disengagement at uh, the line of control is vital for the border relationship with China. This is the Hindu's editorial, India and China finally reaching an agreement on disengagement at Pangong Lake, which we just read, which has been at the heart of the recent LAC tensions. We know that Indian army and Chinese army were face to face in Ladakh and ever since the Indochinas army war in the 1960s, for the first time India has lost 20 soldiers. It is reported that China also lost equal or a few more number of soldiers in the standoff. So, the peace between these uh, major Asian nations is imperative for the world order. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said both sides will cease their forward deployments on the north and south banks of the lake in a phased coordinator and verified manner. China's Ministry of Defense announced an agreement to start synchronized and organized disengagement. Both sides have agreed to a temporary moratorium on patrolling the disputed areas north and south of the lake. The problem has to be settled forever. The real issue is that the border between India and Pakistan, India and China has not been formally demarcated. So, the political <coughs> leadership of both the countries have to take bold decision to end the crisis forever by demarcating officially the border between the two countries. Tender cut, instead of shutting out cryptocurrencies, the government must ensure smart regulation. This is again uh, the Hindus opening of the heart on the recent governmental decision to ban uh, Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency and uh, uh, its decision to come out with its own, government's own official digital currency. We know that uh, Bitcoin and other, there are Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the world, they are virtual currencies or digital currencies. They are acceptable by the trading communities. Uh, the first and foremost quality of a currency is its acceptability. Anything that is acceptable between you and I can be used as a currency. So, when Bitcoin became popular and when more and more and me more people started investing in Bitcoin as a store of value, many countries banned them. Bitcoin was banned by many nations, but India just went short of a uh, banning Bitcoin, but the Reserve Bank of India, India Central Bank gave a strong advisory to the people of India that if anybody is investing or using in bit, using Bitcoins would be taking their own risks. The reason is that our national currency is regulated by RBI, but the risk with the coins like Bitcoin is that they are unregulated currencies, nobody regulates. So, when we invest in Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies, we are taking heavy risk, the prices may go up or come down. If rupee plummets, immediately Reserve Bank of India will swing into action to make sure that rupee comes back and does not breach a particular level. If rupee swings up, again Reserve Bank of India will come to its rescue to ensure that the money does not become too much hotter. So, uh, but there is no such regulation for any of the cryptocurrencies because they are freely floated, floated currency without any kind of regulation. So, the Hindu says that instead of shutting down cryptocurrencies, the government must ensure smart regulation. So, uh, read the article and have ideas what I have uh, just spoken must be pursued uh, 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 with further reading from your side. 
regulatory body like bodies like RB and SEBI etc. also do not have a legal framework to directly regulate cryptocurrencies as they are neither currencies nor assets or securities or commodities issued by a indefinitable in in identifiable user. So, please read the article uh, Supreme Court once uh, stopped the government in 2018 the RBA did send a circular to banks circular to banks directing them not to provide services for those trading in cryptocurrencies, but this was eventually set aside by the Supreme Court which found the circular to be disproportionate. Given that the central bank had consistently maintained that virtual currencies were not banned in India. So, this intervention of the Supreme Court was caused by the policy inconsistencies by the Reserve Bank of India. Through one side RBA said that cryptocurrencies were not banned in India, but through the other side Reserve Bank of India directed commercial banks to not to provide service to people who deal with cryptocurrencies. So, this inconsistency was crashed by the Supreme Court. So, what Hindu calls for is a clear policy decision on cryptocurrencies and Hindu advises that banning is not the solution, but smart regulation is the solution. UPSC advertisers for lateral entry to central administration. It is to bring in professionals to public administration that the UPSC has advertised for lateral entry into central administration. Generally, the civil service officials grow up the ladder and reach top positions, but for smart controlling and regulation and running of enterprises of the government, we require professionals engagement. We know that uh, the uh, Aadhaar uh, implementation of Aadhaar was a grandiose success in India, the biggest identity digital identity card circulation in the world was undertaken in India by uh, 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 the government, but this particular uh, uh, job was taken taken up by uh, ex Infosys chairman Nandan Nilekani. Had it been in the hands of a government official, it would have gone through plenty of bureaucratic clutches and would have taken time, but the uh, uh, unique identification uh, authority uh, chaired by Nandan Nilekani implemented uh, the architecture and issued Aadhaar card to almost everybody, uh, it is the common man's passport almost everybody within the specified defined time. So, government if it is to work smoothly and successfully competent people have to reach different higher echelons. So far the entry has been to the traditional way the UPSC entry level officers then they grow up. So, the government has understood the need for lateral entry to higher positions. So, that is why the UP has, UP, UPSC has made the notification. The first question is given to you, pick out the incorrect information among the following with regard to Myanmar. Naypyidaw is the capital of Myanmar and military stronghold. Yangon is the largest city in Myanmar and its commercial capital. Aung San Suu Kyi's National League of Democracy has won recent elections in Myanmar. The US has imposed sanctions on Myanmar. Yes, let the answers come.
is it all the above none is incorrect all except C all except B or none of these which are the pick out the incorrect information that is a question incorrect information all the above means all are incorrect the answer is second option none is incorrect none is incorrect Naypyidaw is the capital of Myanmar and that is a that is a military stronghold Yangon is the largest city in Myanmar formerly Rangoon and its commercial capital Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for, League for Democracy has won recent elections in Myanmar and United States has imposed sanctions on Myanmar for the military coup it has imposed sanctions on the military establishment in Myanmar. U.S. imposes sanctions on Myanmar, read anti-coup protesters on Thursday took to the streets of Myanmar for a sixth consecutive day after U.S. President Joe Biden announced the sanctions against Southeast Asian nations generals and demanded they relinquish power. So, a strong action has come from uh, the USA, United States and hopefully the uh, military establishment in Myanmar may toe the line. There has been an outpouring of anger and defense since the military ousted civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi last week and detained her along with other senior figures of her National League for Democracy NLD party. Read. Amazon moves Supreme Court in future case. This was also discussed by us a few hours earlier, few days earlier the issue between Amazon and future group. E-commerce major Amazon moved the Supreme Court to stay the operations of Delhi High Court order on February 8, which had revoked an earlier direction to future group to maintain status quo on the sale of its retail assets to Reliance Industries. Uh, future group sold its retail assets to um, Reliance Industries this was challenged by Amazon. In fact, Amazon had won an arbitrator's award in a Singapore court. Amazon said on February 8 orders was ex facie arbitrary and illegal. The order was passed by a division bench of the high court on an appeal filed by Future Retail Limited. So, closely follow the event. Um, Uh, Amazon urged the Apex Court to protest its interest by granting an ex parte stay on the deal between FRL and Reliance. The US firm said that the court should intervene to protect its right as balance of convenience was in its favor. Okay. So, please closely follow uh, the event and what is going to happen. The issue is that Amazon has got a stay as a, sorry a future group has sold the retail assets to Reliance which was challenged by Amazon. The second question why was Yoshiro, Yoshiro Mori was in the news recently? Why was Yoshiro Mori of Japan was in the news recently? He resigned as Tokyo Olympics chief he has been elected the chief of Tokyo Olympics, he resigned as the prime minister of Japan, he is elected the prime, minister, the prime minister of Japan, none of these. Let the answers come. Yes, it is true, he has resigned as the Tokyo Olympics chief. He resigned following a controversy regarding some anti-women remarks that he made uh, recently and that uh, forced him to resign. So, he has resigned. 
Mori to quit over sexist, uh, sexist remarks. Tokyo Olympics chief Yoshida Mori is to resign after he sparked outrage in Japan and abroad by claiming that women talk too much in meetings. So, he is a former, he is former prime minister of Japan, presently the Tokyo Olympics chief. We know that Tokyo Olympics is going to be held in 2021 and he resigned as its chief. Third question, Rajiv Kapoor who died recently was a politician, a dancer, a stage artist, a Bollywood actor, director, a sports journalist. What was Rajiv Kapoor who died recently? Your time is up. I await your answers. Okay, good. The fourth option he is a Bollywood actor director. My dear students, thank you very much for the program. In fact, uh, uh, February 12th newspaper uh, did not have much to serve to you in the, to in the form of questions, probable questions. Uh, and uh, I shall come on Monday again, tomorrow being Sunday there will not be any general awareness newspaper analysis. Make complete use of use of tomorrow. Uh, so, make sure that you all work well and work with a kind of a focus. Please encourage us by joining our YouTube channel and subscribe uh, uh, the channel. Make sure that uh, you all watch the program. Please uh, give your positive remarks against the program which will be a great encouragement to my team and I myself. And at 3 o'clock again, we will have another session on either math, English or QA. Till then, goodbye. Thank you very much.